Hi there, welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the go-to place to all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata and I am an artistic swimming coach with many, many years of experience. And today I wanted to dive in deeper on my process of searching for music for my artistic swimming routines. Whether you're a coach, a synchro fan or an athlete, you will learn from this video how to step-by-step step, look for a perfect music and what are the best ways to do so. So stay along to learn more about my process for searching for music for synchro routines. But before I start, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any of my videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Creating a synchro routine is definitely a very complicated process and it all starts with picking and searching for your perfect music for your routine. Because the music is a heartbeat of artistic singing. It sets the mood, dictates the tempo, and highlights the synchronicity of the movements. The right music can elevate a routine from good to unforgettable. Searching for the music can get quite overwhelming, especially if you don't know where to start. That's why, to tackle this problem, I created a process that I will go over step by step for you, so the music search is way easier for you. This is a very important step in a routine creation and when searching for music, make sure that you find one that is age appropriate. I saw too many times young athletes swimming to very heavy and very adult-like music that they couldn't portray at all. So I think it would be better to know what they need and what they can do. It is also important to play into strengths of your athletes. If you have a very shy athlete, I think it would be not very wise to pick a music that needs a lot of theatrical expression because they're just not gonna do it. I think it is better to leave that for more experienced athletes or maybe later in their career that will also be a good music choice for them. Choosing the perfect music is understanding the theme and style of your routine. Are you aiming for a dramatic, classical piece or a fun, upbeat pop song? The music should reflect the story you want to tell and the emotions you want to convey. Before you fall in love with a piece of music, make sure it complies with the synchro rules and requirements. Pay attention to the age category and the specific requirements that the document states. You will for sure get the different requirements for a solo routine or a team routine, so make sure you check that out before even searching for your music. Once we know those requirements, we can move on to the next step. This step can be rather lengthy when you do not know where to look. Since you already should have a list of themes you are interested in, you can type them in into platforms like Spotify, Apple Music or YouTube. I find them great for discovering new types of music or even the whole movie soundtracks. Make sure to use search and playlist features to find tracks that fit your theme. If you are still struggling to find what you are looking for on those platforms, make sure you head to websites like Audio Jungle, Epidemic Sound and Premium Beat that offer royalty-free music specifically for creative projects. And for classical pieces, make sure you explore libraries like Naxos Music Library. Make sure you save all the tracks that you like so you don't lose them in the process. I'm not going to lie. Searching for music, it's a long process and it might take some time. It might be that you find what you are looking for in just one day. It happened to me as well. But some other times I was looking for a perfect combination of musics or perfect tracks for multiple months. So give yourself some time and make sure that you allow some time for that so you don't rush into the process and you don't do it last minute. Once you have some tracks that you like, it's time to evaluate them. Listen to each track multiple times and visualize your routine to them. It's a free process. It doesn't have to be organized at all. It's just to see if you can get some ideas to the tracks. Does the music complement your choreography? Is the tempo right for your athlete skill level? Does it highlight the key moments of your routine? These are all the questions that you should be asking yourself when picking the music. And also, don't forget to check if you have multiple tracks, if they work together. This will speed up the process of editing the music. Plus, don't hesitate to get feedback. Share the tracks that you picked with your friends, family, athletes or other coaches. Maybe they will have some special input that will help you out and give you a new direction as well. Sometimes a piece of music is almost perfect, but it needs a little bit of tweaking. 
or you picked multiple tracks and you would like to put them all together so they harmoniously flow, right? So I think some basic editing skills are a must for an artistic swimming coach. And I usually use Audacity because it's a free program. You can also use GarageBand because all of them actually have the cutting and moving and editing software that will be very useful for your synchro routine. And that's all for today's video on finding the perfect music for your artistic swimming routine. If you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my other videos. Remember, the goal is not to only find the music that fits to your routine, but also to inspire your athletes to perform their best. So trust your instincts, be creative, and most importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.